YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to All Things Nerdy, where we bring you all things nerdy. For today, uh, seeing as we've got a little bit more more views on uh, a lot of our online battles for Rome 2 Total War, we're bringing you another online battle for Rome 2 Total War. Now, today I'm playing as the Adresian Kingdom, uh, they're a Thracian faction. Um, I'm playing against Rome, you may have seen there in the, the initial screen that he brought elephants. I didn't think he was going to be bringing elephants, but I had a sneaking suspicion that he did, or he was going to, so uh, I did bring some archers to help hopefully take care of him. Um, I'll go ahead and introduce you to my army here, and then we'll get things going. Um, up front here, I did bring some scorpion, mobile scorpion. Now, with these, anytime you bring a, a siege unit or something along the lines of artillery, if they're not firing, you're wasting your money. Plain and simple. I mean, they're not a very expensive unit. This was only about, I think, 550 as far as money goes. Um, so they're not super expensive, but I'm not using it. And if it's not being used, I've wasted 550 50, I don't know, denarii, I think it's cold in this game. Um, which is something I could put increases, I could have gave ranks to, like I did with... Uh, this unit here, I gave him a rank. I could have put some other ranks in people, but yeah. anyway, we'll go ahead and throw in slow motion here. Um, so I've got a scorpion up front. Behind it, I have got one mercenary hoplite, and on each side of that, I have Thracian nobles. Over here in the forest, I also have uh, two Thracian skirmishers. Now, I wanted to kind of keep them hidden over here, and my initial thought was I would have them over here come out and give some flanking fire. But I start moving my men over seeing as my opponent decided to go way over there in the forest. Back here I brought a, a regular royal cav for my general and then behind him my two Thracian bowmen and two Thracian slingers. Now you might be thinking why would you bring slingers if you're facing Rome? Well I thought I wanted to try and get them in on flanking fire. I wanted to bring more of a skirmishing heavy fa or not faction but unit um, army. So I wanted to go ahead and bring him around bring him around and either be getting flanking shots from behind or from the side so that he would get that that flanking morale bonus. And then back there some Thracian warriors, sword nice little sword unit. Over here hidden in the trees. I have Thracian horsemen, two Thracian cav, oh, two Thracian horsemen, with two Thracian cav in the center. Um, I wanted to bring the Thracian cav as a throw on the flaming, flaming javelins and start firing at these assholes over here. Elephants. Like I said, I had I, not a lot of people bring elephants when they play as Rome. Rome already has. A very stout army in in all of their choices you know very heavy infantry so a lot of people don't bring elephants but for some reason I felt like my opponent was going to um, so that was that was a good call on our part I'll go ahead and throw it into play here do a little bit of bouncing around trying to get encourage his army to come out now my opponent does go ahead and leave out not leave out but uh, trick me a little bit leaving these elephants way back here I'm thinking oh, he hasn't moved his army yet or they're just now starting to move up when in actuality they're like right here waiting for me ready to go um, I did go ahead and give an attack order for for my scorpion wherever he's at there he is So he's going to go ahead and start moving into position and firing. I did see this guy pop out, so that's when I realized, well, alright, he's got some other stuff going on. I need to go ahead and get in position. Brought my cav. My cav's going to start walking forward here. I'm going to throw in the tactical view. So th I'm not seeing a whole lot yet, but seeing these cohort and his elephants hanging around back there, I'm realizing now that his army is right here, ready to go. I don't want to start a, a melee fight just yet. Um, I know he's got much better infantry, so ideally, I don't want to start anything. So, seeing him pop out here, not a good, not a good thing for us. So I'll go ahead and put my men up here, start to get shots on him. Uh, my scorpion, I believe, is taking, taking some shots, or wherever he's at. 
Penetration Wait. Bowman. Reload. Brought my Peltists out, or my Skirmishers, sorry. There he is. Okay, so he's still moving. He's still getting in a position. I've wasted so much time with him and money. It's just bad. So I did put these guys into a hop wall, hop light wall. A little bit more defensive on the charge. Gave a counter charge up here with my nobles versus his uh, cohort. Again, I don't want to have this happen. But my Thracian nobles are, are actually doing pretty, pretty dang good. Which is great for us. Uh, initially I thought he would probably bring some Praetorian, maybe, maybe also Eagle Cohort. These um, Equite Cohorts, not as good of a unit. But you can see here, stat-wise, I'm actually matching up better than he is. So good news for us. Um, I brought my Cav on out, Thracian Cav, taking some shots. They're going to get as a distraction unit over here. And his ele elephants are starting to move forward here. And yes, my Scorpion has finally started firing. We are up to seven kills. Such a big waste of money there on that part. So we're going to throw it back into the tactical map. He's, he's starting to get me in a surrounding position here. Um, not something I'd like to see, but we got to work with what we got. Uh, his horsemen do get in. They're going to bog down the scorpion. Twelve kills. Horrible. That's just horrible. That's such a waste of money. But uh, Cav over here going to try and help lock things down. I threw on the flame fire. for. I turned on the flaming arrows for his elephants, but started shooting over here. That's going to give a morale drop to my man as well as his man. He's down to 30. I'm down to 30. Just have to deal with it. Now, his elephants haven't come forward yet. It's a little too late to, to swing things. He still has an opportunity, but he needs to go ahead, bring these elephants in for side charge. That would just wreck this, this center unit here and completely collapse my center units. Um, so I'll go ahead... Rather than leave these guys in on spear form or throwing javelins, I go ahead and throw them into a melee. I'm thinking, all right, I need to go ahead and mop up some of these uh, skirmishers back here. This triarii, I don't really want to go in on, but we go ahead and do it anyway. Elephants, I think, are starting to run amok. Sure, I think I think they're running amok now, which is really good for us. Out of control, yes. So the flaming fire, using your flame spears, um, arrow volley, uh, fire, f fire freaks the elephant out. He loses control and he's just on a rampage now. We were able to send him on a rampage back here, seeing as he didn't get him into the, the thick things of our men. So he was doing some damage to his own units. Great, great news for us. And in fact, I think he did a ton of... He did all the damage over here to his general. So great news for us. We finally mop up our back, unit, back lane here. Um, now we're pushed forward, just trying to mop everything up. Uh, my opponent was a good guy. You know, very nice in the beginning of the battle. Talked a little bit. These nobles are, are really pulled it through for us. You know, Thracian nobles, heavy, great unit. Going up against Praetorian guard. Mm, don't know if they would stand up. I have to, I have to take a look at their stats and everything, and really weigh things in. You know, all the little variables. But that's what I thought he would initially be bringing. Um, I, I kind of lucked out on the fact that he brought these elephants and didn't really really get to use them as properly as as I imagine he would have liked. So, end things there. Quick battle. Um, good game with my opponent. Like I said, good guy. Talked a little bit there at the end. He's all, um, all nice. But go ahead and leave us a like down and a comment down below. You know, let us know what you think. What kind of tactics would you have used? Uh, what, what kind of things would you have done differently? If you're familiar with this faction, what kind of army would you have brought going against Rome? Um... Until next time, guys, you know, stay nerdy and have a good one.